Hello everyone, this is Paramita. Hope you all had a good week. Now, today I'm going to show you hands-on like how to derive more than 2500 rows from a data extension using WS Proxy. Now, a few weeks back, I created one video on how to uh, like learn SSJS in half an hour. In that video, I have shown you how to derive data from data extension using SSJS in Marketing Cloud. Now, that time I mentioned that you can derive only 2500 rows from data extension using SSJS because there is some limitation. I also told you like how to derive more than 2500. I'm going to show you that. Now, to do that, we have to use WS proxy with SSJS. Okay, there is no any other way. So today uh, I am going to show you hands on how to derive more than 2500 rows using the WS proxy. Um, but, uh, but like I assume here that you know SSJS and uh, the basics of WS proxy. Maybe I will make another video where I will explain the uh, basics of WS proxy. So in this video, I will just show you hands on uh, how to derive that. Okay, and I will also provide the full code. So for that, what I have done first, I have created one data extension here. You already know how to create data extension. If you don't know, I have video on that. You can check in my YouTube. Uh, I think it's an email studio playlist or marketing cloud playlist. You can see how to create data extension there. Now I have already created the data extension and I created only two attributes here, email and name. And I have imported some dummy records here, 5,500 record. There are a lot of way to import. You can import uh, using the uh, import wizard here okay manually or you can use automations and stuff when you need but for this purpose I just imported manually using this uh, import wizard uh, even I have created one video how to import uh, the data in that extension okay you, if you need you can watch that video as well all right so data extension is done so what I'm going to do now I'll go to cloud page and in cloud page i am going to create one landing page if you don't know about web studio you can watch my web studio video i have created one how to create uh, first marketing cloud app and how to use web studio now here i will give it a name i'll just give it a name ws2500 okay so next I'll take a blank one. Yeah, so here I am going to delete everything. Whatever is there, I will just delete it. And then I'm going to put my code here. Now, if I write the code line by line, it's going to take ages. So what I am going to do, see, this is also a very good source. I mentioned it before also to learn SSJS and AMP script and stuff. So I will mention this link below. Maybe you already know I mentioned in my last video about this. So here you can see how to retrieve more than 2500 records. Okay. He has uh, explained it very nicely. So I will suggest you to go through the whole article. Okay. So to reduce the time of the video i'm trying to make it fast uh, but uh, you please come here and read the whole article it's a very nice one okay now the final code here yeah i will use this one Control C. Now, what it's going on here? See, another resource also I want to mention. If you go to our SMFC developers guide, 
डब्ल्यू एक्स ब्लॉक से ऐसा से या इफ यू कम टू द डेवलपर्स गाइड एंड इफ यू गो टू डब्ल्यू एक्स ब्लॉक से यू सी बेसिक रिट्रीव बाय डब्ल्यू एक्स ब्लॉक से ओके सो गो गो थ्रू एंड रीड द रीड द कंटेंट हियर आल्सो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड देन हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज जस्ट द बेसिक रिट्रीव मेथड दे आर यूजिंग यूजिंग डब्ल्यू एक्स ब्लॉक से so after doing this we get the response here like that status request id results has more rows now to retrieve more than 2500 rows actually what we are going to do we are going to apply some pagination logic here using this request id and has more rows okay this to we will use and using those we are going to introduce some pagination logic so that uh, that is given here as well if you read the whole thing okay you will know so now if we go back here he has done all this all this hard work for us actually so i am not explaining this line by line if you go through the article i'm sure you will be able to understand if you know sjs and ws proxy okay now i'll do little bit modify here because i have my data extension here you can see there are two uh, thing email and name so these things i will change here because it's uh, different there my data extension name is also different so i will change my data extension name uh, name my data extension name this one ws 2500 so here instead of my data extension i'm going to put my data extension name and in the calls my column name the first one is email and the second one is name okay now filter filter also instead of subscriber key i'll put it email simple operator that's fine that's all okay that's all i will do yeah so it should be fine i'll save it and publish it don't worry about this error yeah now i'll see what i get so i clicked on that yeah see i got all the rows but the thing is that i here i don't know how many rows i got okay so so to check it whether i have got appropriate number of rows or not like i should get 5500 rows okay so what i will do i will just do a little bit tweak here for testing purpose if you go through this for loop and all here here i'll do num rows that means number of rows okay so before that i have to declare it here so i'm taking a variable basically that is number of rows equals 0 okay now here i will do it plus plus so basically each object that mean each rows will be added and i will count it with one okay 
oh i didn't write that that's why i didn't come okay uh, so it's it's returning here record so i have to return i will also return this num rows and i have to give a semicolon as well so i will return the num rows and then here you can see it's writing the records so before the record i will also write that num rows yeah all right so i will save it publish now i will click to so see See, here we have 5,500 record, okay? So the first we got that number of rows we have derived from the data extension. And in my data extension, I have 5,500 records. That means we have derived all the records, okay? So we can check like that. 500 records. And that's the number you can check here. Here I have in my data extension. Okay. So this way we can check whether we are getting the exact number of records from the data extension or not. Okay. Now this is a small thing like uh, I, I changed it uh, to test. Mm, I will suggest you please go through this article here. I, I could show you line by line, you know, but then the video will be too long. It will take a lot of time. So I just quickly uh, showed you how uh, I did that. And also I made some changes. I have already explained to you those things. You can change this also as per your requirement. Okay. Now in my previous video in the preference center and all, I and my SSJS video also, I have already shown you how to embed HTML, CSS, etc. with the SSJS. So you can apply those things and you can make it nice to look. Okay. Now, I will finish here this video. Um, in my next video, I know a lot of people have already requested me to make a video about AMP script. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to learn AMP script. Okay. Thank you so much. If you like my video, please give it a like and subscribe my channel for more updates that encourage me to make more videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.